in the garage now, and that way it'll be able to uh, time. Good idea. Yeah, while I'm doing the driveway. I gotta get down to the other side. Wow. Come crawl across. Look at the other side. <laughs> what? Oh boy. We got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. We don't, you do. Well, oh, you saw the way out there dying with the flu, you got me at this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's sunny, boy. Yeah, it's not helping. Oh, I'm telling you, it is not good. Oh, is that like I uh, made it snow? The viewers are going to know for sure you're evil. I never made it snow. You're evil. Steering wheel's gone. Wish I was in Britain. <laughs> I wouldn't have to slide over. No.
the worst snow you can possibly push. You can see it's wet. Look how heavy it is. Oh, I don't mind that. What's wrong? It was so wet, it was sticking to the satellite dish, and I couldn't get the reception on the, <laughs> on the Bell Express view. <laughs> oh, this here has nothing. But anyway, I wanted to show the, uh, the uh, blow snower. You got a blow snower. Working in wet snow. Good, though. Well, it's not bad, but I mean, 60 horsepower is back there, too, right? Yeah, that's true. You know. There's a lot of horses. There's a lot of horses. There's yeah. a, and they were all in the cab because none of them wanted to get out in it. Why? Yeah. Well, can you blame them? Too cold. I don't know if they want to be in with you because you're pretty grumpy. Oh, with that flu. man, grumpy. She <laughs> has worked me to death since I've had the flu. Oh. The only thing you haven't done was shoot me. But okay. anyway, it's, it's some slippery underneath. Yes, but yeah, yes. I, wanted to, I wanted to show them because. You know, people can know what to expect out of these snowblowers when they're with wet snow. I mean, you know, this stuff is... Look. Yeah, no trouble right? makes snowblow. You no. don't even think about it. You know. Well, I'm not going to throw it at you because I might hit the camera. <laughs> yeah. The only thing saved is the camera. Anyway, i got to go to work. Can't be in here talking to you all day. Uh, who's going to shovel the walkway for me? That's your job. Well, gee whiz, it wasn't getting done while I was filming. Well, that's it. It's a, you, got, you got two jobs. I operate the tractor and I do the friggin' work. Yeah. And you operate the camera and you do the shoveling. I can't argue with that. Snowblower is there if you two. want it. Snowblower? You want blow to snower? Use, you want to use the blow snower? The Honda? I don't think so. Electric start. Vroom, vroom. got the zzz, zzz, zzz for the, <laughs> for the shoot. <laughs> no, you I You can I take like out it. every window in the house with it. I like my shovel. Oh, okay. I go to work. I will. Time for a checkup. Oh yeah. <laughs> On the truck. Oh yeah. You could probably use one too, could you? Oh yeah, big time. Okay, get the door off. Fender off. Yeah. Oh boy, she got her scrapped. She's rough. Yeah. She tore that right out of there, look. Okay. For the top that's hinge. That's what caused the door to drop? Well, that's what caused the door to drop, but there was a reason that this happened. And the reason that happened is because of this over here. This is called door stay. It keeps the door from opening too far. And look at it. It's all tore off, look. So, yeah, that's not even attached anymore. No, it's a done deal, so I'm going to have to uh, repair that as well. So there's lots to do. There's no good to fix that unless you fix this. If you don't fix this, that's going to happen again. Because they're just getting out and swinging the door farther than it needs to go. Oh, uh, that's true. And it's it's putting a strain. It's, it's like you take a piece of metal and you keep on bending it, and eventually it'll crack. So that's where we're to. So. Yeah, I've seen some doors with people go home there straight up. Yeah, they go too far. That's because the door stop and the door stay is strained or the hinges are strained. So you gotta make a new part or well. Well, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna make it up somehow. I don't know quite yet how I'm gonna do it, but. I'll do it somehow. Oh, I have complete confidence in you. It's got to go back the right way because uh, there's no adjustment once I put it back there. Eh? Now, I mean, I could cheat and put it back there now and just weld that hinge right along here. You know, I mean, you know, it's, there's there's lots of ways of doing it, but uh, I kind of rather not do that if I if I could, you know. So. I'll just have to continue on as if I was normal and see if I can fix it up for him. It is going to be lunchtime. It is lunchtime, eh? Yep. Well, I got stitched back. It don't have to look pretty, but it's strong. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah. I mean, it was nothing there. To, you'd never believe it. There's a, to fill it in too. Yeah, there's a couple of thin layers of metal. Holy smokes, Batman. It's, it's brutal, brutal thin. But anyway, you know, it's very strong now. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to weld that directly to it because if you ever needed to change the hinge, and guess who that would end up being? True. So I said, well, I'm not going there. No. So anyway, when I, when I put that on there, it'll be pretty well back to the same place. I'm just going to put some uh, coal galvanizing spray on it there now. Okay. And we'll go to our dinner. When I come back, I can swing, I can hang the door on there again, and then I'll fix the uh, door stop while the door's hung, right? And with the fender off, I can make all the adjustments and make sure the door fits well, and then uh, deal with the uh, deal with the rest of it as I'm going. That's the stages I'm doing it in. Whether you like it or not, I'm liking it. 
Yeah. I know you're surprised. Yeah. You're, <laughs> yeah, so that's a, it's not a bad job. It's, you know, yeah. just takes a little bit of time. Just like anything, isn't it, eh? It sure does, yeah. You've got to take your time with it. When it's all tore up, you know, look at the weather strip. It's all hanging off. And Is that a hard life? Oh, yeah, brutal farm truck. Yeah. 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 It smells like a farm truck. Does it? Yeah, but I got a bit of a break today with the flu. I don't smell it. Right? <laughs> that's the only good Normally break in to here, come you out have to keep the door open. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what they haul garbage and dead chickens in and everything. Yeah. Nice. It's a chicken truck. It's a chicken truck. Chicken truck. Yeah. Say that 40 times. A tent. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. So, yeah, so I'll spray some of that uh, cold galvanized on it and we'll uh, go to lunch. Put the weather strip glued back on. Okay. And I got the, the plate back on. Oh boy, I turned out It's nice, eh? Yeah. It's very, very strong. I mean, you could tow the truck with that. So, if you put down that darn camera and I'll give me a hand to lift that door, I'll be able to. You got to go lifting. You got to go lifting. When you need her. No, I know. No, I know. If there's any girlfriends out there that's good at lifting doors, send her over my way. <laughs> oh boy, that's sounding good. Uh -huh. We're all here watching. I know, you're at that again. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that oh, worked out some wow, nice. Whatever. I had a new door handle now. When are they coming in? Uh, a couple days on that one, and it should be a day on the other one, but. Didn't get any freight this morning. No, it's storm. Storm. But well, why does it ever open nicely? Oh, it sure does. Yeah. Huh. yeah. So the door handle repair will have to wait. Yeah, well, I'll the door casing off on the inside. Yeah. But boy, it ever. Yeah, that really, old is really smooth. I welded it all together. Yeah. And bolted the door and everything on. Yeah. And I never had to adjust. No, I never had to adjust. No. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. You always have to do that. Yeah. Well, it opened up easier. If this one, they got the handle broke off, see, I suppose when you're trying to catch the door every time it opened it up. Ah, uh, See? <coughs> oh, you got a bad cough. Excuse me. <coughs> Furball. Furball. Yeah. <coughs> Big job, huh? Just came in. Good job. Big job. What is that? No, we off compressor or something, the boy said. That second one, them I have to do it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Be oh, yeah, they're going to be all taken apart now and bearings pulled out of it. And uh, got to go welting. And then we got to know, we got to go, got to do this. Well, last, on the last video, I think I might have shown the viewers this. This, all this stuff came in pretty well beat up. and So I got it all repaired. And they came in with one of these and they needed two more made like it. So. That's the two made like it had to put a bottom in that, had to fix them up a bit. But this one here is too bad, so I'm going to have to make up a whole new one of them. I don't know what it's for. It's some kind of farm implement. So. Oh, well, this looks like pouches or side pockets. But yeah. Really no. good. And cottonelle tissue now is starting to feel like I'm blown into a rock. My you nose know, is that sore. <laughs> oh, your phone ringing? Check that. Yep. Yeah, well, no, still on camera. Yes, you are still on camera. Well, here in that tire, and then uh, when the door handles come in, I'll uh, service the truck this to fix that slow leak, whatever's going on with that. And then uh, we've got that other truck down in the hydraulic lift, got to be looked at, eh? Yes, it do. And power steering issues. we got a, two or three, we have three vehicles coming in the world besides we this, do, don't we? but i got a big issue, too. What's your issue? My issue is, is how am I going to get the birthday boy to town, to the city? birthday boy, you're not supposed to say nothing about that. <laughs> well, it's fair game. You ratted me out. Oh, yeah. Well, I got something in there to pick up. Yeah? Uh-huh. Another purse or something in there, then? No, it's a surprise. Yeah. As good as a purse, though. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. See? Huh? My God, it must be something good. Oh, the way that you see it, I mean, it's better than good. So, what are you going to take me, take me to the city? Oh, yeah. Wine and dine me? Yes. Oh Lord! What and leave this? I know. Well, you, can hear I that. know. you can hear the air coming out of it. Oh God! There must be some kind of a hole in that. Hear it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we can't go to the city now. I'm gonna stay and fix that. <laughs> Did I mention I had a surprise? 
Huh? I mentioned I had a surprise. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll put that out. We can squeeze you the floor for a minute. I can get get the tractor run and put the tractor in there and we'll take the rest of the afternoon off. And that. That's good. Cool? That's doable. Okay. Cool. Anyway, we made it back, didn't we? We did. We had a nice trip. Sure did. Slippery going into the city, though. It was. Big time. Anyway, we had a nice meal. It was a great little uh, birthday celebration. And uh, on the way in, I gotta tell them. On the way in, see, Kathy said, I think when the spring comes, I think I'd like to try to BX. Oh my gosh, yes. So I looked across the seat at her and said, you gotta be kidding me. She said, I'd like to try to BX. So I said, well, okay. Now I'm thinking in my mind, like, BX, Kathy, equals total hazard. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh yeah, she never drove BX. I know, but that don't mean it's a hazard. Well, you know, I won't be holding the camera. Not that one anyway. So anyway, <laughs> when we get into St. John's, I'm thinking, okay, well, if Kathy wants to operate the BX, somebody's gonna have to film this. Well, I'm not going to be around the circumference of her area when she's on that BX. And I really got outvoted because like she pointed out to me, she owns 90% of everything I own. <laughs> point. So, you know, I kind of got outvoted, didn't I? You did, yeah. Yeah, you're a major shareholder. I am, yeah. So I figured, well, this is a good time now to play this card. So anyway, I figured, well, if uh, she's going to operate the BX, I'm going to have to film it. And I'm not going to want to be in the the area where she's operating this thing. So, here comes the birthday gift. <laughs> <laughs> so we got that, and we got that, and we got that. Awesome. So now when I go to go filming, it's gonna be about 200 feet up and I'm gonna be a quarter mile away. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how that worked out, isn't it? Yeah, I know. But aren't you glad now I decided that I wanted to do that? Yeah, yeah, it was a, I could fit this into the equation exactly. then, see? And then, you know, and then of course the risk factor dropped dramatically for me. It did, it did, yes, it, it really went way did. down. Now, I know you personally had some concerns about me on the drone. Oh, I sure did. Because you said, you're going to mod it, you're going to mod it. And I'm not denying I'm not going to mod it, but I got an out. And it's a big out. No, you got a plan. You I got, got a plan. got a plan for a plan. I got a plan. When Air Canada's flying over at 36,000 feet and this drone goes by and Transport Canada calls and say, Paul, is that your drone that just went by the cockpit window? I'm going to say, no. My buddy Bob Callan must have been his. Because okay? we were visited Bob and he had one of these on his counter. Yeah, so I'm going to say, boys, head on in by the airport where Bob lives. I bet you he's the fella. Now, now Bob, I know you're going to be looking at this video. Not to worry, I will visit you in the pen at least once a month. Wow. And what a, what a, a I'm going to tell you, I'm just too kind. <laughs> you are, what I, you know, But it's win-win for everybody. It is. Bob gets free room and board. Yeah. Right? And I don't you know. You stay out of prison. I stay out of prison, you know. And plus I don't get killed while you're operating the BX, and I end up with a drone. Can't lose. Can't lose. Perfect. And you still own 90% of the drone. So if, if, if Bob's situation fails, I can always tell Transport Canada, it was Kathy flying it. Wow. See, nice. I still stay in prison. <laughs> no. Can't lose. Can't lose. Yeah, I might be dumb, I'm not stupid. No, hey? no obviously not. Anyway guys, we're gonna call this a wrap. You can see what we were doing today. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, look forward to the spring, because when the spring comes, we're going to be doing a lot of videotaping. <laughs> might see some bloopers. Yeah, bloopers and drones, crashes, whatever. You're going to see it all. Yeah, we might have just a blooper video. Now, all week I've been moaning because I got the flu. Yeah. So the rest of the week I'm going to be droning. <laughs> <laughs> moaning and droning. Moaning and droning. <laughs> yeah. Who, who yeah. else could pull that Oh, off? I'm telling you. Yeah, it's only here at Specialty Repairs. Exactly. All right, folks. Have a great evening. Have a great uh, week. Look after yourselves, be kind to each other, and God bless.